Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to another sketchbook flip through or tour. Uh, this one's actually a lot older, uh, it's from 2013, but uh, I found a lot of my sketchbooks recently and realized that some of them are, are quite complete and uh, worthy of a little uh, tour. So this was all done in October 2013. Some graphite and watercolor. Um, I was living in New Mexico, small town New Mexico, and there was very little to look at, you could say. Uh, but I decided just to make an adventure of the streets that I saw every day. Um, you can tell there's it's autumn with all the pumpkins out. It was a very interesting tree. I was just trying to look at the world through different eyes and see sort of the interesting and the painting worthy out of just the mundane. It's just a little shop. I did a lot of buildings. My friend's dog, side of a blue house. These were mostly done on plein air, so I was physically there. I would go for a walk with this book or I would drive my car and just park it uh, because not all neighborhoods were great to be standing or sitting in, so I would just park my car and draw and paint from the car. And then on the right side here, we have some sort of drawings that I guess I thought I were gonna, I was gonna turn into um, coloring books. Well, before they became back, they came back into popularity. <clears throat> and they were very knitting themed, obviously. I think I was volunteering in a knitting store at the time. This is a very interesting. It's the old hacienda restaurant, and I just did a little sketch of it from the parking lot across the street and the very the very week uh, maybe not the very next day but a couple days later it was uh torn down and a new taco bell came up uh there so it was kind of neat to be able to capture a little piece of history before, and i didn't even know that was going to happen to it i just saw it was kind of falling apart here and it just seemed like an interesting shape building with this awning here and the drive through and so you never know what might be gone the very next day i'm glad i took that day to draw it this was done with a green pen that then bled when I added water to it. It's kind of an interesting effect. Uh, these were notes I made about a snake that chased me when I came out to this park, the state park. I had a snake chase me for quite a while and later found out it was a coach whip. So more drawings just from around that town buildings and things, an old theater. This was a drawing with India ink that had a really interesting, uh, it was very, very pigmented, very dark. And so when you added water, it went crazy. Some tiny little rough apartments. And on the right here, we have just a drawn from my imagination, kind of, kind of dorky little uh, imaginary sort of places. I was just using it as an escape. And then on the left you still have the From Life plein air paintings in watercolor. So here's my reality and here's my imagination. Kind of different. You'll see some of the pages are ripped out. That's not because I didn't like the drawings. It's actually because I sold them. I just pulled them out to, for a little sales, put them in a frame or something, which means some of the pages are falling out, but that's okay. This was a really interesting, very old apartment building. It was kind of just this old house with this huge wraparound porch, but I think there were multiple apartments in it. And I just enjoyed drawing that so much. I never added watercolor to it. A little picnic. Enjoying the colors of the blanket. Some interior of some kind that I didn't follow through with. I don't know if you can see that. It's just a faintly drawn truck. Didn't finish it. Dilapidated buildings. Furnitures, antiques, collectibles, gifts. A very interesting, um, I keep saying the word interesting, but that's truly what this town is. This is an antique shop and it had strange sort of sculptures outside. This is a big bear thing. 
and this is just uh, clearly I was just visited by a bird for seconds and managed to capture its cute little body. These are some some of my favorites in the whole book, um, just because of the beautiful, very New Mexico yard. This row of little apartments. I make it look all cozy here, and it uh, in reality looks a lot rougher. Daylight Donuts. This painting was my very first painting of the town when I, from a hotel window when I first visited before we knew we were going to move from Canada down to New Mexico. The empty pool. This was in the parking lot of Cattle Baron. Uh, so it's just interesting to, I saw this really nice lamppost and I thought, oh, that takes me somewhere else. It makes me feel like I'm in a big city or in a, just a, a different world, even though it's just the parking lot. Just a parking lot. Pay attention to the details. This one says, pimped out wheels, because that car had pimped out wheels. Every drawing is a lesson humbling. I tried to draw this old schoolhouse on my street multiple times and it just was rough. This is slightly better. Uh, there were two different doorways, probably for male and female students. And then the last one of this uh, graveyard, right around Dia de los Muertos. And a moth visit on the steering wheel. I love little moments like that. Just random randomness that was captured. A little bird or a moth or a butterfly or a leaf that suddenly hits the windshield and is worth uh, recording. Little snippets and memories from the past. Hope you enjoyed this little tour and um, stay tuned. I actually am very close to finishing current day sketchbook. I'm right near the end of this, so I'll give you a tour of that real soon. Bye for now.